The Departmental Committee on Agriculture and Livestock now wants documentation of companies that were permitted to import sugar on waived taxes to be audited. Further, we are systematic. This follows failure by the permitted companies to import 280,000 metric tons of sugar in the country to meet consumer demands. What we would like to see is a detailed analysis of everybody who imported. Matrix would have expected as a committee is a matrix that bears the nine items, including the names of the importers. Because we would like Kenyans across the country to benefit from the waiver. Appearing before the Departmental Committee on Agriculture and Livestock to shed light on the tax waiver on maize, sugar and rice imports, Agriculture Cabinet Secretary Mithika Lintura said he does not know why the permitted importers have failed to deliver the required amount of sugar. From January to September 2023, the sugar that has come in is 163,827 metric tons. Meaning, even those people that have been licensed to bring in sugar have not brought sugar in the country. Why have they, haven't, they, haven't they brought in sugar? I can only speculate. With a deficit of 48,000 metric tons of sugar in the country, the CS has defended its scarcity, attributing the same to the lack of sugar in the commercial trading block and lack of availability of the commodity in the world. Sugar availability in the world is not there. It's limited. So people, there is no sugar in the world market. India the other day, close the importation of sugar and rice. Commercial sugar is also not there. The members of the committee are however questioning as to why, despite having tax waived on the import of sugar, the price of commodity is yet to come down. The main reason why the, the government is involved in tax waiver is to cushion Kenyans against adversities such as the high cost of living. I would want Waziri to tell us that before this importation was done on sugar specifically, how much was the sugar then, a kilo or two kilos, and how did this waiver reduce the cost of living in a matter of cushioning Kenyans against these adversities? The government had allowed a duty-free waiver on 570,000 metric tons of sugar in the country, but so far... Only 163,827 metric tons of sugar have come into the country. Uh, and the extent to which these substitutes have worked. Bentura Kwamboka, K24 TV, Nairobi.